There has been the age-old debate about which is better against units, the Martyr's Howitzer or the Liberty Howitzer. Now, this has been tested out, but it has not been tested out in quite a long time. This was tested out, at least I previously tested it out, back when there was just the classic units and it went only up to 7.2 stars. I have not since tested it since the modern units were released with the 5.0 update. Now they go all the way up to 9.2 star units and we are going to retest this theory and see if the Liberty Artillery unit still reigns supreme when attacking units. Some say yes, some say no. So we are going to put pen to paper, we are going to put it to the test and we are going to see exactly which one is better. Full disclosure, we are on the test server at the time of filming this video. So we have two accounts, they are identical accounts. Everything is absolutely identically perfect. The tech, the VIP level, the units are the same levels. Uh, everything is as perfect as it can possibly get. There's no title buffs, no alliance buffs, nothing along those lines. There are no officers involved here. We are going to do a straight unit against unit test. So it is going to be a martyr's howitzer, no officers against a Vanguard super heavy with no officers. And then we are going to uh, do round two and we are going to do a Liberty howitzer with no officers against the same super heavy with no officers. So we're gonna do it as clean and raw of a test as we possibly can for you guys. The tech on both of these accounts, like I said, is absolutely identical, same VIP level. Everything is 100% maxed and identical. So it is going to be as close to perfect as we could possibly try to get it. If you guys enjoy testing videos on the channel and want to see more of them in the future, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is gonna be in the description of the video below. Click on that link, it'll take you right into the community Discord server. Absolutely everybody is welcome. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the testing. All right, guys, welcome back. I have shut down the face cam so that way it does not obstruct the view of anything going on on screen. It does not uh, take away from any of the testing happening. Uh, so we are going to start with round one, as you guys can see on screen here. We have got our Martyr's Howitzer unit that is all leveled up, ready to go. No officers on it. Right in front of our base now, we also have the fully maxed out 9.2 super heavy. Same thing, no officers, nothing on it. Neither of these units have parts. None of them have wrenches involved. It is full level 200, maxed out modifications, 100% enhanced on the 9.2 uh, version of these units. So as clean and raw as we could possibly get this testing. So we are going to lead it off here. We're gonna see how the Martyr Howitzer does after the attack is complete. We are going to take a look at the battle report. We're going to retrain the super heavy. We are going to train up the Liberty artillery unit next. And then we are going to repeat the test and compare battle reports and see which one is more effective. So let's go ahead and jump into round one.
the first battle report here has generated. So this is the battle report from the Martyrs Howitzer attacking the Super Heavy. Uh, you guys can see uh, some of the times here. It took uh, 3 minutes and 26 seconds to complete the full attack. Uh, the Howitzer did a total of 79.7 million unit damage dealt. Uh, so a pretty good amount here. Uh, so that's kind of just a baseline. We are going to get the Liberty Howitzer trained up and we are going to get that attack underway. And then we are going to compare these two reports side by side to see the difference in time of attack. See if it's any different at all. If so, how significant and then how much difference in terms of unit damage dealt things like that there's going to be. So uh, we're going to get trained up and then we will be back for round two. All right, guys, we are trained back up. The Super Heavy is ready to go. The Liberty Artillery is ready to go. Again, same thing as last time. No officers on either of these units, no parts. So we are going to get the attack initiated here, and we are going to then compare side by side the Liberty versus Martyrs battle reports. All right, guys, the second battle report has generated. So you guys can see a pretty considerable amount less in terms of total attack time, in terms of unit damage dealt as well. It is also higher at 80.3 million. So the first one here is the Martyrs Howitzer, which is at 3 minutes, 26 seconds. The Liberty is at 2 minutes and 33 seconds. The total damage unit dealt by the Martyrs is 79.7 million. Total unit damage dealt for the Liberty is 80.3, so not a considerable amount, but still more in every little bit counts. All right, guys, we are not going to stop with just a super heavy. We have decided to go add two brand new phases to this testing. We are going to test this out uh, with both the Liberty and Martyrs Howitzer against the main battle tank, which we have chosen the Martyrs main battle tank as our unit for this trial simply because the martyrs main battle tank has the most durability and survivability of the three camps and the main battle tanks within each respective camp so we wanted to make this as challenging for both of these artillery units as we possibly could to try to get as close to accurate results as we possibly could now something to note you guys can see at the bottom i have both the liberty and martyrs trained up the reason I did that is to kind of streamline this a little bit. However, the Martyrs is the only one in, in the base, and I have gone and camped out the Liberty one way back here, so it's not involved in the fight. And then we'll just flip-flop them uh, for each attack to kind of speed up the process of this video. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into round one here, and it is going to be the Martyrs Howitzer against the Martyrs main battle tank.
All right, guys, the first battle report has generated here. This is from the Martyrs Howitzer unit. You guys can see the attack time. The total time was 1 minute and 43 seconds. We did 85.3 million unit damage dealt. So we are going to get this Martyrs MBT retrained. We are going to get the artillery units swapped out, and we are going to start the next round of testing with the Liberty Artillery versus the Martyrs main battle tank. All right, guys, we are all trained back up. We are ready to go. We have swapped the howitzer slash artillery units. We now have the Liberty one in the base. The Martyrs is way back in the back, so it is not going to be affecting the uh, testing at all. We are going to initiate the attack. Take a look at the battle report once it generates and compare just like we did with the super heavy attacks side by side which one performed better out of the two. All right, guys, the battle report has generated. You guys can see the total attack time was 1 minute and 25 seconds. In terms of unit damage dealt, we did 85.3 million unit damage dealt. So let's compare those numbers to the Martyrs Artillery. So the Martyrs took 1 minute and 43 seconds compared to 1 minute and 25 seconds. So not a massive difference but still a difference. Jumping back over to the Martyrs unit here, we have dealt 85.3 million unit damage dealt. On the Liberty, we dealt 85.3 million unit damage dealt. So we are identical in terms of unit damage dealt there. Uh, and the Liberty legged out the Martyrs just a little bit, just a little bit on term in terms of total attack time. So now we are going to enter phase three of this testing and we are going to be testing the helicopter with these two artillery units so we are going to get retrained up get everything in order and then we will be right back to start phase three all right guys we are all trained back up we have our martyrs howitzer unit back in base here we have got our vanguard helicopter trained up we are going to initiate the attack and we are going to once again Compare battle reports at the end of the attack side by side to see which one prevails. All right, guys, the battle report for the Martyrs attack has generated. The total attack time was 1 minute and 34 seconds. We did a total of 66.3 million unit damage dealt. So we are going to get our Vanguard helicopter retrained here. We are going to swap out our artillery slash howitzer units, and we are going to begin the next round of testing with the Liberty to once again compare these reports side by side. All right, guys, we are all trained up, back, ready to go. We have swapped our artillery units out. We have got the Vanguard helicopter all trained up. We are going to initiate the attack, and then at the end, once again, compare side by side the battle reports from both the Martyrs and Liberty attacks.
All right, guys, the battle report for the Liberty attack has generated. It took a total time of one minute and 29 seconds with a total amount of unit damage dealt being 67 million. Jumping over to the Martyrs report, one minute, 34 seconds. So really only a five second difference. Again, not that significant, but time is of the essence when you are in combat. So a small difference, but not significant. Here we did 66.3 million unit damage dealt with the Martyrs, and we did 67 million with the Liberty. So the Liberty legged out the Martyrs just a little bit. All right, guys, so in conclusion, what can we take away from here? We can take away that they are not that far apart. However, based on total time of attack, unit damage dealt, Liberty did sneak ahead just a little bit. When going head-to-head -head against the Super Heavy, there was a pretty significant difference between the Liberty and the Martyrs. Liberty won by quite a big margin, uh, and the, the, the Martyrs really kind of underperformed specifically against the Super Heavy. Now, when they went up against the main battle tank, they were pretty much neck and neck. In terms of overall unit damage dealt, they were literally identical. In terms of time of attack, the Liberty once again legged out Martyrs just by a small margin on that particular attack and then for the helicopter attack they were uh pretty close in terms of time but once again liberty legged it out just by a very small margin about five seconds faster in terms of total attack time and the liberty did just a slight bit more unit damage dealt than the martyrs to the actual helicopter so overall they are neck and neck in a lot of ways but comparing them from unit to unit to unit uh, we do find that the consistent thing is, is that Liberty generally does kill off units at a quicker, quicker rate, whether a very significant amount or very minimal amount. Uh, they, it, it, the fact remains is that Liberty does still outperform the martyrs in all forms and fashions and when in terms of attacking units. So in conclusion, what we can draw is that Liberty is the better unit. It does outperform the martyrs in pretty much every category in terms of unit damage dealt and also time of attack. Again, in certain areas, it's not a very big margin between the two. In certain areas, it is a bigger margin, but in every single aspect against every single unit type that we tested here in this video, Liberty performed better or the exact same in certain scenarios. So when you're comparing side by side, which one you should prioritize, you should absolutely prioritize the Liberty Artillery unit. This goes for both offensive and defensive purposes. When attacking uh, bases, the Liberty is obviously going to be the front runner due to its 300% damage uh, to fortification boost over the Martyrs, which is only going to offer you a 20, a 250% damage boost to fortifications. So Liberty legs it out right out of the gate against bases, but in terms of garrisoned base defensive attacks, the Liberty is still the winner. So 100%. Focus and prioritize on Liberty if you have that option available to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found a lot of value out of this video. And hopefully this video is going to put you on the right track in terms of unit development. Again, it's been a while since we've done this test. We did this test when the classic units were still around. Uh, and we tested it at the 7.2 star version. And the results basically are the same in terms of which outperformed which. And that is still Liberty. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you guys did find value out of the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And again, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community server. Absolutely everybody is welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me on today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.